when I heard about the bathhouse raid, somebody said to me, the police have raided the bathhouses. And I said, what if they got against cleanliness? <laughs> I would be very angry if I were taking a bath. <laughs> and somebody thought they had the right to come and kick down my door. <laughs> so I'm here really because behavior of this kind, uh, people think that they can beat up on supposedly powerless smaller groups because it's fun, um, and because they think they can get away with it, um, makes me angry, makes me sick. And I don't see why anybody in a society that calls itself a democracy should have to suffer from institutionalized contempt. see what a smarty pants I was. <laughs> uh, and it does, it says something nice about Canada that I could be such a smarty pants uh, at that time without getting in deep, dark, serious, bad trouble for doing that. Because we did then, and we still now do, um, live in a relatively, and everything's relative, in a relatively uh, benign and open country, but it is surely our job to make it more benign and more open uh, than it is even now. Um, because there are a lot of people who are still feeling those kinds of pressures. So I, I guess I was asked to turn out tonight as your token. Um, <laughs> Um, ignorant, straight female person. <laughs> because I did speak at uh, that initial occasion and people, I, I kind of said why I did, but there's a, more of a background uh, to it. It was at a time when we were putting together uh, the organization called Penn Canada which is a rights organization for writers internationally who were put into uh, prison or killed uh, or disappeared because of what they have written or said. And everything is connected. So promoting rights for one group, that extends to other groups. I'm also old enough, don't say, <laughs> I was born in 1939. I remember the war. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> VE Day. Uh, and Hitler put gays in the camps. So just always remember that. Uh, any of those tendencies immediately conjure up to me when people start bathhouse raids, kinds of kicking down doors and what with the lockers and smashing. Um, it immediately uh, says fascism to me. That's what it says. So gays and lesbians, both in the camps. And that is why in The Handmaid's Tale, uh, I have gender treachery as a Sin Against the Regime in The Handmaid's Tale, and I've got some hanging on the wall. And that's why I did it, because fascist regimes do that, and it is um, our duty, I assume, to keep that from ever happening here. And that's my case. Well, that's all I need to say. I, I, don't, I don't think I need to say anything more than that. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> if you want to ask about my hair, you can do it in question period. <laughs>